guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm doing another thrift haul. Now everything you're going to see today I found in my local charity shops, so this is a UK version. I feel like we always see US thrift hauls and I wanted to show that the UK has some pretty cool stuff as well. So I got quite a range of items, we've got a lot of clothes and then we also have some brick and brick as well. So I'm going to start with that and we can go from there. <clears throat> So the first item I'm gonna show you guys I'm probably most excited about is an ammonite pot. Now for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a geologist by day and I specialize in like geoconservation and paleontology, that's like my thing. Check out MGEMS if you wanna see more of my other crazy life. Um, but I found this ammonite pot and I cannot tell you how excited I was when I found this. Like this is the most Emma thing ever. Like I'm obsessed with ammonites. There we go, you can literally see the obsession tattooed on me. And to find a pot like this for a whopping one pound was literally, I think it's the find of the year. Like I'm just in love with it. Like how beautiful is that? I just, I really, really love it. Like I'm obsessed. And along with that also came another thing. Now. This uh, they were just going to get rid of because it's actually, I think it was one of those, like you have like a, a wick that would come out and you burn it. Not quite sure if it's complete or whether it's missing a piece. Um, I don't know if you guys know anything. It's got like a glass bit down here and I can see that there is a string all the way down. So I don't know if there's a way I can replace it and actually use it for its original purpose. But my thinking was, I'm gonna try and like turn it into something else. So. It's got like fossils, like this is just artificial, but it's got like artificial fossil fish and shells and, and it's just a really nice piece and I thought it might look nice on a shelf as almost like a pedestal. So if I can make the surface here a bit flatter, I could put uh, one of my specimens on top of it or something else, I could turn it into a stand of some sort. So that was my thinking, it was just like a little extra. The main thing I wanted was the ammonite pot and this was kind of just almost buy one get one free because they didn't know what to do with it and I thought, you know what, I can turn that into something. So if you guys know a way to just turn it back into its original purpose then great, but I think it might actually suit being like a pedestal with something on top of it. I don't know, I have a vision, we'll see if it works. Now sticking with the fossils, I also picked up, this is probably a little bit crazy, it's a ring box. So it looks like this, so it's actually, it's glass and it's like a leather just like crate that flicks open. Now this is meant for a display cabinet, you know, selling rings or something like that, but it was one pound and I was thinking it's got a glass panel front, so if I can put some specimens in it and have it like at the back of my shelves, like with my rocks in it, I, I just thought for a pound, it's a really nice leather and glass like piece and I liked that it was like black leather with like silver. I think I can turn it into a display case of some sort, even if I keep it flat to just showcase some like smaller specimens or more delicate ones. I thought for my fossils and my minerals, I can repurpose this. So that's all the stuff I got related to the geology side of my life, which is quite a massive part of it actually. Then the other things I got is I got a plant pot because I love rocks, but I also love plants. And now I don't like this plant pot as it is, because why on earth are the mushrooms blue? I don't know who was thinking that, but I'm gonna repaint it and turn them into red toadstools. So it's actually chipped, so you can see the paint has come off in a few places. So I'm gonna repaint it in like red and white toadstools because the shape is already there, like it's embossed out. And I think it will look so lovely red and white because I love mushrooms and I think, that will just look really cute then with one of my plants coming out of it. And it was only a pound, so it's a pound for a project. And I think that'll be really like fun to paint, especially now it's getting warmer. It's just like a summer project idea. So hopefully it works, but I lost a pound if it doesn't. So I was too excited to finish it, so I've already painted it. And look how much better it looks as toadstools. I'm absolutely in love with it now. I think it looks like it was always meant to be toadstools. I think it's so cute. So now I just have to decide what plant to put in it and find a place for it. So the next thing I got, I am in love with. Now we are in the wrong season, but it still does rain pretty much all year round for England. And it's an umbrella and it's the cutest duck umbrella. I mean, look at that. And I'm pretty sure this is a specific brand. I don't actually know what brand it is. I just fell in love with the duck handle, um, but it was only three pounds. And I just thought that's so cute. I have to have the duck umbrella. Um, so that was just like, a practical but sweet purchase. And then the final bits and bobs I got is I got a bracelet. Now I don't normally buy jewelry because I, I have quite the collection, but I really liked the beads on this one and I wear a lot of green and I just, 
I liked it. So for a pound, I thought, why not? And then I got a bunch of hair bands. So the one I'm wearing, I also picked up, which is like this nice, like goldy brown one, which actually matches the color of my hair like perfectly. And then it also, the bunch came with like these pink ones and blue ones. And they're just all colors I'd, I wear. And for a pound, I just thought, you really can never have enough hair bands. Like mine go missing, even though I have a billion of them. So I had to pick those up. But that is officially all the brick and brack and other bits and bobs. Let's get into the clothes. So I'll start with probably the most bulky item. And also my outfit of the day is extremely cute. I feel like I'm wearing like a vintage tennis outfit. Now I picked this up in a thrift shop when I was studying in France. So um, I did do a video, I think, when I got it, or maybe I didn't, but uh, very cute. But this one wasn't a pound, it was, I don't know, it was under 10 euros, so I think I paid like 8 euros for it. But um, this jacket I picked up recently. Now, when I'm doing field work and I'm like out on the beach and it's freezing cold, my jackets all come around my hips and I get a really cold like lower back. And so I saw this jacket in um, my local charity shop. It was... £9.50, so a little bit more pricey than I usually go for, but it's pretty much brand new and let me just, it just fits me so nice. So now it's going to look like I'm just wearing the coat, but you can see what I mean. It's like a longer coat, so it'll keep my lower back warm. So when it's really icy and I'm out, you know, on the coast doing field work, I can actually keep myself a little bit warmer and I thought for under £10, I would never be able to find something like this anywhere else. And the make of it is, it's Merrill. Merrell? Merrell. But um, I just thought, it's a nice fit. It's still pretty new. Like, it, I, I don't think it's been worn much at all. And um, black just goes with everything. So this is just a field work jacket for when I'm doing my fossil stuff. Um, but the rest of the items, I promise, are normal fashion items. Because I have two sides. I'm either extremely fashionable or field work. So next I'll show you the dresses I got because I picked up, well, I'll show you two of them first. I picked up three dresses. These two have the same kind of vibe, so they kind of look, look I, I definitely have a style, don't I? So this is a gorgeous like grey black denim dress. Now I have a lot of denim, but the reason I picked this one up is because look how stretchy this denim is. Like that's just going to be so comfortable to wear in the summer. I'll be able to move in it, sit down in it, and I just think that's so much nicer than really stiff denim, so I had to pick it up. And I love the uh, contrasting white stitch. I think that's really nice. Then, this was one of my recent finds. I found this newspaper dress, and I am just... I literally found this yesterday, and I am in love with it. Like, how fun is that? And now, this is a very slinky fabric, but it's in a size medium, so hopefully it won't be too stretched. And I don't think it will go see-through, but I just love... I fell in love with the print of it. I've been wanting some newspapery pieces and uh, I mean, I don't think I could beat this if I tried. So I'll pop these on for you now. So this is what the denim one looks like and it's just such a winner. I love the stitched lines down the front. It is a little bit short, but because it's stretchy, it's like still very comfortable to wear and it's like tight around my legs. So I feel like it will be fine to wear it, but until I wear it for a whole day, I don't know if the length of it's gonna be a problem. But I just, I think in the summer, I love it. I can easily like take the straps down if I don't want to get like strap lines. It's just a very wearable dress and very, very comfortable because it's so stretchy. So I am extremely happy with this one. And for a pound, I mean, can you believe it? It's just perfect. I honestly think this dress is going to be hard to beat. Like, I feel like this is my new favorite dress. It's just... It fits beautifully, it's not tight anywhere, so it is a medium, but it just sits really beautifully, so it's not too short, not too long, not too tight, not too loose, I'm just so comfortable in it, and I love the newspaper print, I think it will look really nice like dressed up, or just with like Vans or Converse as a kind of more like dressed down option, I just absolutely love this one, I think it just looks, it just looks perfect, I love it. Then the next dress I got, or the last dress I got, is this gorgeous brown one. Now, this one's a bit of a different style, but it's the same fabric as this newspaper one. So it's just that really kind of slinky um, fabric, which I love. And it's got a really nice, like, V'd neckline and then a tie waist. So I think it's going to be really flattering on. And for a pound, I took a risk because I don't normally wear maxi dresses. So I like them, but they're kind of... I don't go to wear them in the summer because I like to have my legs out, I like to tan my legs, and I think a maxi dress is just a bit long, but 
maybe this one will be absolutely fine but if not my plan is to shorten it so it's the type of fabric that's very easy to just cut and shorten um, so I'm just gonna throw it on and we can see what it fits like. This is how it fits and I absolutely love the neckline. I think it's really flattering. I like the waist tie. Only thing I need to do is it's got like foam cups in it but they are obviously like it's gone through the wash and so I don't know if you can see they've like all folded down the sides here. So it just feels a bit weird but you can't really tell because of the pattern but I think they're quite easy to get out. So I'll just like do a little snip and just take them out but I love the kind of thick straps and I think it's really flattering on I'm not sure on the length so let me just go back so that's the sort of length so with like a nice wedge or heel it is the perfect length for me I'm just maybe I'll wear it once long see how I feel and then if I need to this is the sort of length I'm feeling like I was thinking of turning it into like a kind of just above the knee kind of summer dress I thought that would be quite cute, but I don't mind it, and I absolutely love the fabric. I think the colours are beautiful, but the length of it I have to get used to. So, yeah, maybe I'll give it one go long and then try it short, but it is just so cute. One pound, like, I've just got to stop stressing. It's just amazing. So, I'm trying to decide what to show you guys next. Uh, I think I will do a pair of trousers and then... I think this top will go nicely, maybe. So these are both a pound. So this outfit I'm gonna show you next will be a two pound outfit. What an expensive look. Now my mum found me this top. I absolutely love the green and yellow together. I think in the summer that's just like such a nice bright piece and completely new. I mean that white is still so white, it's amazing. So that's the top and then the trousers, I'm still amazed. These are brand new. So these had their original tag on them still which is just crazy to me. They're these like wide leg, white denim, like just jeans, but they have a seam going down the front. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very subtle, but I love anything with an extra seam. However, these need a tiny bit of work. So you can see like the belt buckle loops up here. So they had another belt attached to them that goes around. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like cut them off or like just do it, like stitch them under because I'm not a fan of them just poking up like that. So they're like mini belt buckle loops. It's kind of strange, but I don't, the trousers themselves are really nice. So I think a little bit of sewing and DIY, they can be absolutely lovely. So I'll put that look on for you now. This is what it looks like on, and I really like them as like separate entities, but I'm not sure on it as a look together. But the top is just so cute, but I think might suit like skinnier jeans because it's not the tightest of fits. So I love the colors, but I'm not sure it works with these trousers. Now these trousers are a perfect fit. Like look at that waist. Like they fit me beautifully. I just need to sort the tags out because I'm not a fan of the tags just sticking up. I need to like cut them off and stick them down or sew them down. But the trousers, I mean, look at this fit. Like they are a perfect fit. I'm like obsessed with them because I like that they're not like super skinny spray painted but they're still really flattering on like just in their own way so I think in the summer these are going to be a really really cute addition to my wardrobe with a nice like wedge or a nice like heel I think these will be so nice to wear and next I'll show you this top now this one was also a pound. Everything was a pound, actually, you're going to see, apart from one skirt that I did pay five pounds for, but you'll understand why. Very, very nice skirt. Now, this uh, corset top I fell in love with because of the moths on it. So it literally is covered in moths, and I'm just, I love that. I think that's so cool, and it's like this, like, waistcoat corset style, but it's not really my colour. So I, I normally steer away from like nudes, but maybe I'll get away with this one. So if I don't like the color of it, I might consider dyeing it because it was only like a pound. I was like, well, if I spend six pounds on a dye and it turns out good, then it's just a seven pound top. But um, I'll have to decide on that. Let me just see if I can get the button undone. Eh. So I will throw this on now and let's just see what it looks like. This is it on and I'm not actually that mad about the color. I think with a tan, it might even suit me more. Like, I thought I was going to, like, literally, it was just going to wash me out. It wasn't going to be the colour for me. I think not with white trousers. I don't think the white ones are really the right kind of vibe. But look at the back of this corset. Like, I think it's so pretty on. Like, I love all the darts, and I just love the fabric so much. 
Now, funny thing is, it's a little bit tight on the chest, but then it's a little bit loose on my armpits. Now, I'm not really sure why that is, but I don't think it looks bad, but I could also just do a tiny little dart on either side, just like that, to just make it a bit more of a cleaner fit, but I don't think it looks bad. It's just a little bit funny that it's just got little, little flaps here, but I love the fabric of it. I love the fit of it, you know, like the rest of the fit. And I think, I think the color is workable. I think I'm gonna keep it this color. I was literally, when I saw it, I knew it wasn't a color I normally go for. And I was like, do I just get it? And I thought, you know what, for a pound, I'm gonna try and make it work. But I think it actually works. I'm not mad. I'm really not mad. Let me know what you think, but I think it's workable. I like it. Now, the next things I'm gonna show you are all skirts. Now, I did way too well with skirts. I don't know what, it, they. They're, not, they're all from three different shops as well, so I can't even say it's from the same person donating a bunch of her skirts or something like that. I just did really well. So I'll show you this one first. Now this is a gorgeous just sock skirt, but I loved the um, sparkle of it. Like, look at that. So it's just a super stretchy, just pencil skirt. Now I thought this could be nice in the summer with a tiny crop top or in the winter with tights and a jumper. You know, you can literally wear this every season and I think that's it's nice to have a few pieces that are just like all year round pieces but I just really liked that what I'll do is I'll show you all the skirts first and then I'll just do a mass try on then this uh one I also really liked so I'll show you that one next um this one is like an iridescent red to black now this is like really really vintage river island I say vintage just like old river island um, but I love this fabric, like how cool is that and the stretch, oh my days, look at that. I haven't seen a skirt so stretchy in a long time. And I just, yeah, I loved the fabric too much to leave this, but I think this one might be, I say it's a wintry skirt, it might, I might be able to dress this in the summer as well. I just love that, like sometimes it looks black and then you realise it's actually like red, red there as well. I just love it. I thought that was so cool. Now, this is the five pound skirt. Now, I, I literally just had to have it. It's this gorgeous like brownie burgundy leather mini skirt. And it's just gorgeous. Now, my thinking with this is it was either gonna be like a million dollars or it was gonna be, it just doesn't fit. Because with mini skirts with no stretch, for them to like fit my kind of figure, it's a little bit tricky. But the waist on this one is perfect, so I'm so excited to show you guys. And it has pockets, and it's just a Zara basic, but it's an extra small. Now, my waist is an extra small, but the rest of me is not. So it totally depends on the skirt, and I'm just going to put this one on for you guys because it's just, it's my new favourite skirt. But before I put that one on, I will just show you the last one because then I'm just going to try them all on together. It's this gorgeous, just little like rah-rah skirt. Now this is just a Hollister one, but look at the colours. It's blue, green and red. I mean, that's just lovely. I think that's such an odd combination, but such a fun one as well. Now this is way too short and I know it's going to be way too short, but I was thinking in the summer with like a really small pair of like running shorts underneath or something like that. I think I can work it. I will turn it into a skirt. That is my thinking. So I just had to have it because of the colours. I loved it. So let's put them all on. So I've just kept the same top on. I know it's not going to go with all of them, but it's just to show you the skirts. So this is the sparkly one and I just, I love the fabric of it so much. And it's literally just a sock, but it's a cute sock. So we like it and it's got no slits. So I don't need to worry about, you know, it being a bit too short in places. It's just really wearable, I can dress it up, I can dress it down, I can make it warm, I can make it summery. I just thought it's actually a really, really versatile skirt. So I absolutely love this one. Look at that sparkle, it's just perfect. Generally, I love this one so much because it does color change in the light. So sometimes it literally looks black and then other times it looks red and I just, I, I really like that because I think both colors I wear a lot of. So I think I can have a lot of fun styling this skirt and I just love that it's so stretchy and it's just so much fun. And it hasn't got like a dangerous slit, it has like a teeny tiny one at the bottom at the back, but I can work with that. And because it's so stretchy, it doesn't actually need a slit because I can walk in it just fine without it. So 
No, I absolutely love this one. So this is the little leather mini one and it's just so perfect. Like it is a wiggle to get over my hips, but once it's over, it's like the nicest fit on my waist. And I just, I love it for that because so many of my mini skirts have a really big waist on them. And then they, um, be, in order to fit my hips in like my butt circumference, they need to have the larger waist because otherwise I can't get them on. Whereas this one, because it's more of a fit and flare skirt, it fits me beautifully, but it still like is a really flattering look, I think. And I think it looks really high quality faux leather. So it's not real leather, but it's really just lovely. So I'll have to keep an eye out at Zara's basic like leather stuff because this is one of my new favorite wardrobe pieces. Like I can just wear this summer, winter with tights without like, it's just such a cute option. I really, really love it. I know this is the worst outfit combo I could have put together, but just to show you how this one fits, I think it's just super cute. It is extremely short, but I can just about get away with it. But if I was to wear it, you know, like all day, I would just put a cute little pair of shorts underneath it that hopefully wouldn't be visible. Um, it's just if there was a gust of wind, I would be safe but I absolutely love the colors together and I didn't really think I would love you know blue red and green it's a bit of an unusual combination but I think in the summer this will just be a lovely piece to throw on because it's so flowy it will just be really comfy to wear so that's all I got for you guys today thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed today's video as usual I say it every time go check out your local charity shops or thrift shops or even your vintage shops you just never know what you're going to find and also you can find them online as well there's a lot of different um, secondhand like online stores that are really really good and they're getting better and better so just have a look around because Secondhand, you can find some absolute like bargains where people have like never worn them or you know in great condition and you'll just give it a new lease of life and that's the beauty of it it's a cycle you know you're not just buying you can also like sell or give away what you don't use and it's like a little cycle of sustainability which is fabulous so I really hope you guys enjoyed all my social medias down below if you'd like to follow me on there along with my second channel which actually showcases all my geology ad antics so you probably saw in today's video I got a few things related to field gear or fossils that's the channel where I actually showcase what I do with it and that side of my life so check that out if you would be interested but um thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time